do leave a like if you liked it and to be continued. Alright, the episode's done. I gotta figure out that secret entrance. Alright, so this is what, what I'm walking with and uh, yeah. Hmm. Now, it's been a while since I did a job do and I never did it in this version of the game. So this is gonna be fun. And also, how many pistons do I even have uh, on set? Alright, just 19 slime balls. Not necessarily a bad situation, like, it, it, at the very least I have uh, enough slime balls to create, uh, enough stickies to create a proper piston do. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just quickly relock, be right back. Okay, so here's the flush door uh, that I would go for if this would be Java. However, upon pushing the lever, yeah, as you can clearly see, nothing works. Not at all. The bottom uh, part of the pistons just ignores everything forever, and the upper doesn't work properly either. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, here's why this is happening. Quasi connectivity is not a, not a thing, not a thing like at all. Um, in Java version this would totally work, but it does not here. What will work, however, is actually connecting the redstone to the pistons on the same level as they are. This is something I have tried actually way back in Minecraft 1.4 when I was first experimenting with, with pistons. And guess what? In Java version, doing something like this will would not connect it to the pistons. You can see the, this little one pixel uh, aiming for the pistons themselves. And would you reckon? It actually sort of, sort of works. Sort of works perfectly. This here works perfectly fine. How do we make it work on the lower part is the question. First of all, we need to transfer this signal to the down there. That's gonna take an, either a sticky with a, with a redstone block on top of it, or we could try and do it with observers, but observers only transfer, transfer the signal uh, button-wise. They don't act like a, like a liver. You, you don't think this is worth your attention, pig? Okay, whatever you say. This is the dumbest redstone contraption ever made. And I'm, I made like five of those, so this is the dumbest one of the five. <sighs> okay, we transferred the signal downwards, so that's okay. It, it's, it's not too clumbersome, actually, and I'm pretty sure that I could make it even more compact. Quote unquote, even more compact, if I really wanted to. How do I transfer the redstone signal? to this block right here and we could probably go on a bit of a compromise and basically go underground from here because, because we, we do have a lot of space behind the wall and we're not really obligated to, do, to making this too compact we could just, you know, pull the signal from up here maybe something like bzoop 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 and after what we like zoop zoop. Huh, go figure. This one actually kind of makes sense. Kind of. Okay, okay, that, that's great. But I have a tiny bit different idea in mind. Let's try that first. Here comes the funny. Uh, what we're working with actually does not have to be a flush door. Well, it has to be a flush, flush door, but it doesn't have to be a flush contraption because what we're looking at is a basement and in a basement there's one great advantage we can hide in the wall a lot of redstone like a lot a lot of redstone besides we're walking with a, with a wall in which we already have those uh, decorative uh, decorative relief and uh, decorative uh, 3d things like basically uh, columns of wood sticking out so what we can do instead of going for a, a very sophisticated design is going absolutely barbaric Doing something like this, and when we need to open the door, what we essentially do is we go boop, right? And then we go boop. And if we go boop on the all three of them, what we get is a three by a three by one entrance, which okay, it works. It it it's fine. It 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 really does work. All we really need is another set of pistons pushing in this general direction so we can close the door okay here goes nothing Bzoop. okay that was stupid can we bzoop back? 
Okay, we can. So, this part walks perfectly. This part doesn't. Okay, why did you walk fine that time and didn't... Is this not reliable? Because if it isn't, why isn't it reliable? Is my question, essentially. This works. Now the closing sequence... Doesn't. And now the closing sequence... Doesn't work again. Okay, at the very least I got it to reliably not work. That's... That's halfway into it. This right here is a way back when uh, thing for a T flip flop. You can see the T. <laughs> but yeah, the thing about it is, uh, well, it is basically a button to lever thing. Which, yeah, more, you know, uh, knowing redstoners, I already know anyway. So, doing the output from it... Okay, which is somewhere right, uh, which is... So right here it can be probably retrieved from it. We should probably be able to um, hook up a single button. Because that's what this thing here needs. That's what he, this thing here needs. It needs a button. It needs a button input. Let's see if it works to begin with. Okay. Okay, that works. S will you stop? Puffing on me. Well, what I'm doing is very serious. And yes, that is a bit of a junky animation for a, uh, opening and closing of the door. And yes, that is a tiny bit of a, you know, uh, embarrassment really of a contraption. But hey, it allows me to do what I want to do. So that's good enough for me. Alright, now for the ammo stand part. I still want the silly thing when they pause whenever you open the door. So let's see. We have uh, 15 or <laughs> however many levers. And we have the, the default pause that I really like, so this one. This is when the door is closed. The door is closed, okay, the door is closed. However, when the door is open, this competitor will not launch the freaking signal, right? So if we open the door, boop. Yeah, there is no signal to be found. So some other competitor should turn on. Aha, uh -huh. door open, door closed. What pause does it? Yeah, default pause. Door open. Sorts out. Sorts out, man. Sorts out. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way I like it. So, I think I figured it out. Now to implement this mess of a contraption into the actual real world. Huh, would you look at that? The door is closed. But once we push the button. Where did they even hide it? Push the button. Stuff happens. Door open. Ta-da! Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm and we'll see how that actually looks. <sighs> okay. What were the signal strengths again? Alright, so here goes. Moment of truth. Everybody ready? You ready? Oh, you have to be kidding me. I forgot to turn this one around. Ah, you stupid idiot. You're not supposed to see me walk on my secret entrances. Here we go. Boop! You had to mess it up! You had to mess it up, Mr. Sordi Hand. <sighs> you know what? Just for that, just for that, I'm taking your pants. There. You don't have pants now. Now... We'll do it exactly as we rehearsed. Okay, guys? Especially you, Mr. Pants. I knew. I knew. Mr. No Pants, actually, yeah. Three. Ready? Two. No one's looking. Turn, a, turn around. Turn away. And... Uh, Boobity! Ta-da! Just hands. This works. This works. All of this will be covered up, obviously. All of this will be right under, uh, what should I call it? Uh, right under a stairway, and the stairway should probably lead somewhere up there. Now I need one more, uh, one more thing, one more button. Can I close the door behind myself? Because of course I can. I should probably give that guy his pants back. And. Speaking of, uh, speaking of uh, dress, I should probably take off the friend bow dress too. There we go. 
This is much better. The classic one, not the not the new flat one made by a fan. <sighs> all right, all right. So now that we're done with everything, I should probably record the next episode. Wouldn't want it to be uh, as late as the previous one. Where's, where's, where's the play button? Here it is, and here we go. Hey, yo, baby people, my name is Lexpent. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. 